It seemed like a perfect marriage of two competitive bodybuilders, but behind closed doors, steroids made things volatile. She was found guilty of murdering her husband, and now it's getting the Netflix treatment. It may be the most unusual roid rage murder case ever. This time, it was the wife who killed her husband. I killed the man that I loved the most in the world. Both were bodybuilders, and both used steroids to pump up their muscles. Sally and Ray McNeil were champion bodybuilders. What's your favorite movement? Bench press. I can tell by the size of your chest. She was known as the pumped up princess and the brawny bride. Also, Killer Sally, her character name when she wrestled, and the title of the new Netflix documentary. Sally says her husband was a steroid using monster who physically abused her. Their volatile relationship came to a head at their apartment in Oceanside, California on Valentine's Day, 1995. I just shot my husband because he just beat me up. You shot your husband? Yeah. Okay, is he dead? He's shot. At her trial, Sally claimed she was a battered woman in fear for her life that fateful night when she says her husband tried to choke her. But prosecutors say she had her own history of violence. They say she blasted her husband with a shotgun, then went to the bedroom to reload, and then returned to shoot him a second time in the face. She's one of the most violent people that I've ever prosecuted. She claimed she had stopped taking steroids, but authorities say a steroid was found in her blood when she was arrested. Sally was convicted and served 25 Five years in prison. Now she's out and was interviewed for the three-part Killer Sally documentary. I killed him because I was protecting myself. He was trying to kill me. Nanette Burstein directed the series. And Sally is not the perfect victim. Sometimes I was swayed to believe in her innocence and other times her guilt. But at the end of the day, I came away believing that it was a miscarriage of justice. Killer Sally is currently streaming on Netflix.